It's getting drawn up. I should be signing that over the next hour or so. President Donald Trump signed an executive order on Tuesday mandating that U.S. meat processing plants must stay open during the coronavirus crisis, despite concerns that food processing workers will become infected at work. Taking the liability, which frees up the entire system. Earlier on Tuesday, Trump said his order will help protect large meat processors such as Tyson Foods from legal liability in case employees catch the virus as a result of having to go to work. Uh, we have had some difficulty where they're having a liability that's really unfair to them. Unions said the order needed to do more to protect workers. Trump's executive order comes after the world's biggest meat companies, including Tyson, Smithfield Foods, Cargill and JBS USA, halted operations at about 20 slaughterhouses and processing plants as workers fell ill, stoking fears of a potential food supply shortage. The chairman of Tyson Foods warned this week that the food supply chain is, quote, breaking, and a senior Trump administration official said that if action is not taken, meat production capacity for the whole country could be reduced by as much as 80 percent. Meanwhile, more than 6,500 meat and food processing workers have been infected with or exposed to the coronavirus, and 20 have died from it. That's according to the country's largest meatpacking union, which said on Tuesday that the Trump administration should immediately compel meat companies to provide the highest level of protective equipment to workers and ensure daily coronavirus testing. A Trump administration official said the order will include guidance to minimize risk to workers who are especially vulnerable to the virus. But critics have slammed Trump's order, including one activist group, which said in a statement on Tuesday, quote, sending workers back to meat processing plants without proper protection is tantamount to a death sentence.